Welcome to Electron Line. For our fifth example of this type, distance, velocity, time type of word problems, we have one with a boat. Let's say that the boat can travel 6 km per hour. If the boat can travel downriver with the current in 2 hours, while it takes 4 hours for the return trip upriver against the current, how fast does the current flow? Alright, again, we're going to start with the same equation distance equals velocity times time but notice in this case we don't know the distance we do not know how far the boat travels downstream and how far the boat travels upstream so that means we want to get rid of the distance so let's say that we call distance downstream distance 1 so distance 1 equals distance downstream and we call distance 2 equal to the distance upstream. Then since they are the same, we can simply equate them to one another. So we can write that distance 1 equals distance 2. And then we can say that velocity 1, the velocity downstream, times the time 1, time downstream, equals velocity 2, which is the velocity upstream, times the time 2, which is the time upstream. So let's make a little diagram here. So let's say we're traveling down the river. We know that the velocity of the river is in this direction. So when we take our boat and we travel, let's say, from point A to point B on the river, we don't know where point A or point B is. We don't know how far it is, but we don't need to know. We know that the velocity of the boat will then be added to the velocity of the river. So V1 downstream is going to be equal to the velocity of the boat plus the velocity of the river. It's going to be the two added together. But then when the boat travels back upstream, now we have to, or the boat, not us, but the boat, has to fight against the current of the river. And so now the velocity, V2, is going to be equal to the velocity of the boat minus the velocity of the river because now we're fighting the current against the river. So that means that our equation will now become as follows. V1, the velocity uh, going down the river, is going to be velocity of the boat plus the velocity of the river times the time. Now time 1 is going to be, let's see, 2 hours to go down the river. So that'll be times 2. Equals velocity coming back, which is going to be velocity of the boat minus the velocity of the river times T2, which now takes 4 hours for the return trip. We were told what the velocity of the boat is, it's equal to 6, so this becomes 6 plus the velocity of the river times 2 equals 6 minus the velocity of the river times 4. And then if we just want to make things simple, let x equal the velocity of the river, which we denoted by v sub r, like that, then we just replace that by x and we can solve for x. So 6 plus x times 2 equals 6 minus x times 4, where x is the velocity of the river. That's what we're looking for. So first we're going to get rid of parentheses by distributing the two on both terms. So this gives us 12 plus 2x is equal to, now we distribute the 4, and we get 24 minus 4x. Now of course we want all the x's to one side, all the numbers to the other side. So 2x plus 4x, because when we bring the 4x to the left, that becomes a plus 4x, equals 24. Bring the 12 to the right, it becomes a minus 12. Again, so when we cross the equal sign, we change the sign. Here we get 6x is equal to 12, divide both sides by 6, and that means that x is equal to 2. And since x represented the velocity of the river, that means the velocity of the river is equal to two kilometers per hour. All right, now we can do a check. If the velocity down the river is the velocity of the boat plus the velocity of the river, that gives us a speed of six plus two, which is eight kilometers per hour. And if we go back in the other direction, it's the velocity of the boat minus the velocity of the river, which would be six minus two, which is four kilometers per hour. You can see if the boat with the aid of the river can travel twice as fast when it goes down river compared to up river, it would take half the time. And sure enough, 
it only takes two hours to go down river and four hours to go back up river because the speed, the velocity, down river and up river is a two to one relationship. Eight kilometers per hour down the river, four kilometers per hour coming back, double the speed, half the time, it does seem to check. And therefore, we can say that we probably got the right answer and that's how it's done.